morning. Well, today I'm going to do a tarp setup that you don't see on YouTube very often. And when you do, it's done slightly different to how I do it. But you know me, I like to keep things simple. So uh, I'll spin the camera, show you what I've got, and show you how we achieve it. Right, I'm starting off with the tarp upside down. So that is the inside camo on the underside. On the far edge, I've pinned the two corners. I don't know whether you can see them. I've, I've used my orange pegs, but basically that corner and that corner is pinned out tight along that line. And it's in a straight line with this tree because that's where I'm going to tie it off. Now I need to fold this into a triangle and I'm going to take this corner and hook it on the peg nearest to the tree. So roughly a triangle. It will come together in a minute. I move the camera to the next bit because that's all here. Right, this is our edge. Far edge to my right here is the, the long tight side that's been pegged out nice and tight. And all I need to do is take the top loop here, put some rope through it, paracord, whatever you like really, a uh, bungee if, if that's more convenient. Through that, and I'm going to tie it up to that tree. So, grab the end of that. Stick a quick loop on there. Doesn't need to be anything fancy or particularly strong. Now, if I hoist him from the tree. end of that bit was a little bit out of shot sorry about that so I've moved the camera just so you can see this side so there's the two pegs there's the side that's uh, tension now I've hoisted him from that loop up the tree I've got tension here and tension running down to that peg so there's the side. Inside we've got a floor. On this bit is going to be the door. There we are. That's what it looks inside at this stage. Is this corner, which is going to be the door. Just stick that on that peg there. Just to hold him for a bit. And along here, tension the bottom. Move him about a little bit so I can get some tension on that back corner as well. So it's about there. Right, let's open him up. See how we're doing. Hold this door back a bit. That's essentially what you get inside. Plenty, plenty long enough. But this side being so big, does encroach in the space a little bit. So I'm gonna stick a guy line on there just to pull it out, just to give us a bit more space. So I'll get the tensioning right. Keep the door closed up and see how we go. Right, 
so the guy line on here. This would actually be the like the centre loop that was laid out flat. Not that it really matters. It's just it's roughly in the middle of this side, so it'd be the most effective. There we go. The only other thing you can do down the straight original side where the two first pegs were is you've got a gap here. Now, depending on the time of year, you might want that for ventilation. Or if the weather's horrible, you see the side and what's the base, the loops are actually above each other. So you can. it down tight if you like. <clears throat> that sealed him up a bit. Not perfectly obviously, there's a, you know, a little gap, but if the rain was hitting this side it would keep the worst off, swap this flapping about. Also, you see here I've got my old ground sheet underneath. Is it necessary? Well, oh, that's up to you, really. I don't like walking or laying on my tarp when it's on the woodland floor. It doesn't take much to poke a little hole in the bottom. So this is just a bit of insurance, a bit of peace of mind for me. Depending on what type of tarp you're using, it might be thick enough or strong enough. But for me, I prefer to have something underneath. I did make one slight cock up, but it has been probably two or three years since I've done this. The place where I've tied off, I did it more or less in line with the pegs. And I forgot, really, it needs to be offset slightly by a foot or so. That's why I've got saggy bit this side. If I pull this rope across, there's some tension here, as if the you know the tree was a foot or so further over. You can see how it's a better shape now. But I'm not going to film all that again. <laughs> Let's show you inside. Well, that's with my feet down towards the end, not quite in the corner, um, and I'm probably still a couple of feet from the entrance, and a reasonable amount of width too. When I've used this in the past, I've had my bag here without a problem, slept this side. You could sleep diagonal across that side if you want, it doesn't really make any difference. And it's actually long enough that you could always stash your bag down in the point end, it would actually open it up slightly, you'll prop it up, um, just means you'll be closer to the door. But for one person and their bag, plenty of room. You've got a floor, you've got a door you can close if the weather's horrible, or of course leave it open if it's nice and sunny like today. But it's just something a bit different. Is it any better than any other tarp setup? No, probably not. Um, but I just get bored doing the same thing over and over. So I like some of these odd shapes, just to mix it up a bit. Right, enough filming, time for a coffee. Thanks for watching.